Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. My name's Sister Magdalene Emily Tanui. God bless you. My brothers and my sisters, the Lord, I made it again. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Amen. Before I continue, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord Almighty God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father Lord, for this good opportunity you gave it to us to minister your word and to hear your word, O oh, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Brothers and sisters who are watching, I pray for them. I cover them too with the blood of Jesus. To hear this word which I'm going to preach today, Father Lord, you gave it to me. Let them hear this word and touch them and no remain the same the way they are. Father Lord, and I pray for myself, Jehovah Jireh, that Lord, cover me with your wings and hide me in your inside. When I'm going to minister your work, Jehovah Jireh, that nothing is going to destroy this preaching in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, my sister and my brothers, today we are going to read the book of Genesis. I'm going to preach about a, um, a man and a woman. The Lord Almighty God made a man and a woman, not a man and man, and not a woman and a woman. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to read the book of Genesis 21 to 25. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I know you are ready. If you are ready, let's continue together. I will read in the name of Jesus and you too, you will read it so that you can understand better. Maybe you read better than me. I don't know. But we read together. I will read. You will read. Amen. Amen. I read in Jesus' name. Then the Lord God made the man full into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took out one of the man's ribs and closed it up the flesh. He formed a woman out of the rib and brought her to him. Then the man said, Then the man said, At last, here is one of my own kid born, taken from my bone and flesh, from my flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Woman's, woman is her name because she was taken out of man. 24. That is why a man leaves his father and mother. Amen. And he is untied with his wife. And they become one. Hallelujah. Amen. And they become one. The man and the woman were both naked. But they were not embarrassed. Hallelujah. Amen. The man and the woman, they were both naked. And they were not even embarrassed. Okay. Because, you know, a man and a woman, they are made different. A woman is different and a man is different. Hallelujah. Amen. So here we go. Hallelujah. Amen. So, my sisters and my brothers, I was saying that today I am going to preach about men, men's and women's. Hallelujah. This is something which is open. Everybody knows, really and the truly, that the Lord Almighty God didn't make he didn't make a woman and a woman or a man and a man. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. So, okay. I'm going to start it so. God made a woman. God made a man so that these people, they will join together and to make a family. So that these people, when they grown up, everybody will leave his parent and go. And they are going to live as a family. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Here we go. But nowadays, there is something which is terrible, horrible, catastrophic, 
too much, the world have changed. Let's talk the truth. The world have changed. The world, how the, the Almighty God made the world, it is not like now how it is. Amen? Hallelujah. It is not now how, how it is. The Lord Almighty made, hallelujah, just a moment. Yeah. The Lord Almighty made a woman and a man so that they can join themselves together to marry themselves and to make family, to make children. Amen? To make children. Okay. A man and a woman will sleep together. They will make love. And the woman will get pregnant. And the woman will born a baby. Hallelujah. Amen. But nowadays, I was saying that it's catastrophe. It's terrible and horrible. That the human being himself, he has overcome that wall. He has overcome it. Not like that time the Lord Almighty God made it. Nowadays, it's a man and a man, they are marrying together. A woman and a woman, they are marrying together. Is that no now, Hala? Yeah, let's talk the truth. Okay. I am preaching today for lesbians and shul. And even those ones who are not lesbians and they are not shul, so that they don't come to become that thing. That is satanic, demonic spirit. That is evil spirit. If you see that a man is going to marry you to be the wife of the man or to be the, the husband of the man, I think there is something wrong. Yes, there is something wrong. And if a woman is going to marry a woman to be a wife or, 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 or a woman is going to marry a woman to be a husband, there is something wrong. Yes, my sisters and my brothers, it is not well. It is not well. Almighty God in heaven is looking. He's looking because that time we had in the Bible, that time the world, it was like Sodom and Gomorrah. And the Lord Almighty God threw a fire and burned those old people. But what do you think what the Lord will do that now? What the Lord will do now? The Lord is very annoyed. If you know you are a shul or you are a lesbian, it's better you change your life earlier. Because how, oh my God, oh Jesus, have mercy. I want to ask this temporarily. How can a man marry a man and say that it is, it is, it is, he's sick? Or you say that uh, it's natural. Uh, I was born a woman, but I am a man. I was born a man, but I am a woman. So that I have to marry a man to a man. Or I have to marry a woman to a woman. My sister, my brother. My sister, you are lesbian. And you are feeling good what you are feeling good. You are not feeling good. It's Satan has entered you in your brain. If you are going to agree a woman to sleep with you, to make love with you, Oh, my sister, that is a very big sin. How do you feel when you are sleeping with a woman and a woman in your own bedroom? Or doing what, whatever you people you are doing? You have to stop it. It's warning from God. In the Bible, the Lord made a woman and a man. He didn't make a man and man or a woman and a woman. You are man. You are going to agree to sleep with a man and a man. How are you making love? How, even if to say you, 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 because many of them nowadays, they marry, they go, they, oh my God, even I don't know how to describe this, for me it's too much. Even the pastors themselves, there are pastors who they are shul, there are pastors who are lesbians, there are pastors who they open church, where the shul they are sitting. I saw it one time in internet, in, uh, um, in, uh, in Jamaica, they have a church for shul. And they, they will go there and marry themselves. One shul, a man, is going to wear a wedding dress, wedding gown for a woman. And the other one will wear a suit for a man. And they will go and marry. They will put rings and they will sign. The pastor will sign. I don't know which kind of pastor is that. Pastor, you have to re repent. If you are a really pastor, God called you. You have to repent. Change your ways. Women who they are lesbians, please think about this very well. My name is Magdalene Emily Tanui. 
you will ask yourself what this woman is talking. I am talking what the Holy Spirit of God tells me to say today. If you know you are a lesbian, you have to stop it. Because how can a lesbian and a lesbian make love and make baby? Where, 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 how, how are you going to get pregnant? Where are you going to get children? You are sleeping together, kissing yourself, touching your breast, saying it, you are feeling good. You are not feeling good. You are going to hell. You are going to fire. You are, you are, you are, you are entering alone in the fire without nobody call you, without nobody push you. You are just walking to the fire. Eh? You are all, already now cutting firewood for yourself. Oh. Stop this, my sister. Just imagine yourself. You are hearing this, this preaching I'm preaching today. I know you don't feel happy because you want to do what you are doing. Eh? But let me tell you, when the day comes, God is going to ask you, why did you change yourself to be a man when you are a woman? Many they go to operate themselves. Women, they go and operate their breast to go out so that their chest will remain like a man and say, I am a man, I am married. This is my husband. And it's a man, it's a woman like you. The men, they are going to put breast. They call it silicone. They will make hair. They will walk like this, like this, like this. And say, this is my wife. Even if they go to the office, they are making some papers. One time I go to Rathaus in Germany. It's a big office where you go and, and, and sign some papers. I see a man was sitting and a man, and he's saying, I cannot sign it because my husband has to sign for me. I was surprised, so, hey, I say, my husband, I was looking, I was just new those times when I just arrived to Europe. I say, ah, why is he saying my husband is going to sign for me? There are two men. Ah, those who are shulo. You call a man. Your wife, you call a man your husband. You call a woman your wife. You call a woman your husband. This is Zodom and Gomorrah. I am telling you, you have to stop it earlier. If you are a woman, pray God to change your life. God's still giving you time because you are still alive. If you are dead, you are already in fire now because what you are doing in the world is catastrophic. A woman is supposed to be married with a man. And a man is supposed to marry a woman. How the way I was reading in the book of Genesis 21. The Lord made a man. And he made him to be a deep slip. He took that rib, one rib from the man, and made a woman. And that was the wife. Did God, was God crazy? He didn't make a man and man to live in this world. God made a man and made a woman. So that they can live together and make family. But you, I'm talking to you, Shulo, and you lesbian. You come and change yourself and say you are a, you are a, you are a, you are a, you are, you are a lesbian. It is in blood. It is not in blood. It's a Satan is in you inside. It's a demon is in you inside. Just think about it. It is a Satan is working in you. It's telling you to do opposite things. Anytime you do something which is, which is upside down, you know already the Satan have overtake you. You have to pray and repent. It's your time, shoes and lesbians, to repent. Give your life to Jesus Christ when it's still early. Because it may be too be late. It may be too late. It is time. The Lord has given you time. So long as you will hear this preaching, okay, you have to change yourself. If you want to change yourself, you change yourself. Because it's, you still have time. Change yourself earlier. Walking a woman and a woman and saying, this is my husband. And it's a woman like you. You go together, you eat together, you sleep together. Making love together. Doing whatever you are doing. That is nonsense. And a man too. A man and a man. You are going to sleep together. Doing a hala. And saying, it's my husband, it's my husband. That is catastrophic. That is yourself. You are seeing yourself, you are doing something wrong. 100% is wrong. Stop it. My brother, my sister, let me tell you, eh? give your life to Jesus Christ because this uh, thing you are doing, you are saying that the woman is your husband, is your wife, the man is your husband, is your wife. Stop it. Give your life to Jesus Christ. So long as it's too early, it's maybe be late. My sisters and my brothers, God bless you. And I pray God for you to help you and to change your mind and your brain so that 
you can change yourself and you look yourself that it was wrong. In the name of Jesus. May God help you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me too. God bless you. Amen. Okay, bye-bye. God bless you.